All right, folks, we're out here at the Fat Cow Pasture. This is Fat Guy Flies RC. We're taking up the Park Zone Sport Cub S2, my older one. And uh, we're going to see what we can do. Incidentally, I'm running the uh, an Admiral. Uh, I'm sorry, not an Admiral, a uh, Spectrum Smart 2200 three cell LiPo in her. And uh, she's just good running bird. I've also got the easy lights on the trailing edge of the wing. trim needed there because she keeps wanting to there we go sorry if she's a little a little too far away there we go oh yeah tell you what you can't go wrong with this bird here Incidentally, the uh, the Hobby Zone Sport Cub uh, uh, SS, the uh, carbon, uh, the the uh, yellow and silver one, it's the exact same plane, same mold, same everything. In fact, and everything fits on this model that would fit, that fits on that one. The only physical difference between the two, besides the color, is also the landing gear is slight the wheels and the tail wheel are slightly larger and a little more bouncy so that is the only real difference nice rudder turn there and i'll tell you what if you really want to learn a a good four channel plane this is it this is it there's like no wind out here today um, also this plane does have Flop, uh, flops, uh, flaps available. You just have to install a rudder or a servo, and uh, comes all the hardware. And you just have to cut the flaps out in one little section. I have chose not to do that with with my uh, with them, with both of my uh, Sport Cub S2s. Um, they're floaty enough. I don't really think you need the flaps per se. Um, but like I say, that's just me. I have the throws set. Throws set at 150% on all the control surfaces. And I have the, the uh, mechanically set for maximum deflection also. Um, I'm just, just me. I like to have all the control I can possibly get. Um, but as far as, as far as the flaps go, like I said, I just don't think you need them with this plane, but that's just me. Do a nice low, slow, slow pass here. The time oh, shoot. And folks, that's what you call a tip stall. That's called turning and not have enough momentum. And that's a tip stall. So, oh, I think we lost our broke prop. Battery hatch came out. And that's no big damage. Thank you for watching. Let me get the plane in. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And, don't, and God bless. That was a tip stall, folks. I turned without enough power. My fault.